and maintain your golden doodle between grooming appointments. We have a couple products we're going to be demoing today. I'm going to be showing you several techniques, little grooming methods that you need to be doing with your golden doodle or your dog in between grooming sessions, in between grooming appointments. Whether that be that you groom your dog every six to eight weeks or that you take your dog to a groomer every six to eight weeks, whichever, this is something that you guys need to be doing in between those grooming appointments appointments okay this is very important this is the key to keeping your doodle or your dog mat free between grooms obviously there is some tools and products that are really going to get you there and get the results that you're looking for just like a professional would be using you're the professional today guys this is golden doodle gus he has a very poodly coat as you can see he was last bathed two weeks ago he does have an abundance of coat as you can see i can't really get a comb through him right now now it's time for me to brush him out before he mats trying to remove dead coat from his coat that is what is going to turn into mats normally I use quicker slicker which I am going to be using today and show you and that is a nature specialty product that I use but today I am going to share with you this new tropiclean perfect fur detangling dematting hair remover spray I really like it so I'm going to demo this for you guys and share with you the results on our golden doodle I typically always use a slicker brush with gas this is my large Kenchi slicker brush as you can see I use it a bit <laughs> it works hard for me I will be using a slicker brush but I'm also going to be demonstrating the Kenchi metal pen brush and I think this is important today to demonstrate because I don't often talk about pen brushes with you guys. Pen brushes can be very beneficial to a thick, long-haired coat. Sometimes your slicker brush is what you're going to need, but sometimes this brush is going to really get you there and get a little bit more compliancy with your dog too at times. So I'm going to show you how I use this today in combination with the detangling spray by Tropiclean to give this dog his brush out. We're also going to be trimming the pads of feet because that is something that I believe should be done between grooming appointments if you can because it will keep the pads of the feet mat free and as you can see this little guy has a lot of hair in the pads of his feet and of course when we're doing our in-between maintenance on dogs and I'm going to show you how to trim the feet with scissors as well in between. Another must in between grooming appointments is our sanitary trim to keep our dogs from getting feet and build up and dirty things around their private areas. That is also not very hygienic for dogs that share the couches and the beds in our house too, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do all this today. We're gonna start here with Gus's back leg and his tail and you can see this needs some work. It's not matted, it's just been neglected for a couple weeks by his mom. So we're gonna shake up our product. This is the Tropiclean Perfect Fur Tangle Remover. It missed very nicely into the coat. I don't like to brush out my dogs when their coat is completely dry. If you don't have a detangling spray, guys, put some warm water in a spray bottle like this and mist it into the coat when it's time to do your, your routine brush outs and keep your dog nice in between grooming appointments. So this here, this is the first time I've tried Kenshi's metal pen brush. I usually use a slicker brush on my Golden Doodle Gus. I can also go for this. This is a little bit more of a gentler brush. It may not pull as much dead coat as my slicker brush. Let's just give a little bit of a demonstration or comparison here, guys. I like my Kenshi slicker brush. This is the large because it does remove so much of the dead coat, which helps me keep Gus brushed out longer. He does not like his legs brushed, by the way, guys. Always be gentle, we wanna to get to the skin. See, he doesn't like it. Oh, stop complaining. But it's very important, and I will say that that spray is helping me brush through Gus's coat. I think you guys would like it too, and it has a very fresh scent. And it helps to keep your dog's coat cleaner longer as well between bathing and grooming appointments okay so wow that was pretty quick and we got through that leg real nice and we're removing dead coat i'm going to mist a little bit more into his coat and just run this pen brush through it one more time and make sure it's looking good so now that the leg is brushed out and we can get a comb through it nice and easy let's try the rake and only now will we try a rake when we've brushed 
and can get a comb through our dog. And remember, I like to mist a little bit of spray or warm water into my dog's coat just to add a little bit of flexibility to the hair as well as it just helps to slide out, gently slide out the dead coat. And this is working very nicely. But you can go check out Kenchi's website because I know they're having a good sale right now on a lot of different tools. Just like that guys, I didn't get crazy. I didn't try to remove a ton of hair, but you can feel when it's not wanting to pull any more dead hair. It's you know, it, it removes it really, really easily, as you can see, just like the Coat Kings. This is the same thing as a Coat King, but this is Kenchi's rake. It is constructed very nicely, I will say that. And this is a nice tool to have during brush outs for a long haired dog, or especially a curly coated or thick dog. I do not like to use undercoat rakes on double coats, but I feel like maybe they pull a little too much. I'm a little paranoid with the double coat because I never want to disturb that undercoat to top coat ratio. I'm really careful and conscientious of that when I'm grooming a double coated dog, you know, like a golden retriever, Bernice Mountain Dog, uh, Pomeranian. I'm very conscientious of the tools that I use on a double coated dog. His leg is fantastic. So these tools worked wonderful. And as you can see, they have all removed dead coat from Gus. That's what's important. This is what will cause your mats, guys. So we have just eliminated that from our doodle. All right, guys, and I'm gonna brush out his tail. We're gonna put a little bit more of this Tropiclean Perfect Fur Detangling Spray in his tail. It missed out very nicely, very light mist. I'm gonna use the Kenchi Metal Pen Brush. Gus is very tolerant of this brush. I do not like to use the undercoat rake on my Gus's tail. As you can see, his tail is just not super thick. And if I would use the undercoat rake, I would pull out a lot of that thickness and his coat, his tail wouldn't look as full. And I like it to look full. So I'm not gonna go for the rake here. After we get the brush through it, we wanna check with our comb, make sure our comb can nicely get through our dog's tail and the tail is brushed out. That was quick. That was real quick, guys. This brush actually helps these metal pens polish the coat a little bit, which is nice, adding a little bit, releasing some of those oils in there, adding a little bit of shine and luster to the coat, guys. We all like to see shine and luster to our dog's coat. It doesn't look dry and brittle, right? He doesn't really like to be brushed with a slicker brush. He tolerates it. It's, it's not hurting him, but he's a real sissy. I'll say that. I don't feel that pen brushes remove as much dead coat as a slicker brush would. If you're worried about breaking your dog's coat, let's say you have a bearded collie or an English sheepdog or something like that, you know, you want to be a little bit careful not to break that coat. So you may want to go for a good metal pen brush. Now I'm going to show you how to shave out the pads of these feet. As you can see, he's in between grooming appointments, but this is getting very long. So I need to get rid of this so that he doesn't get mats in here. That will be very uncomfortable. So this is what we're going to do next. And I'm going to use my Kenchi flash clipper. It's perfect for that. This is my adjustable blade on my Kenchi flash. I do have a five, a seven blade that I can use. That's what I like about this clipper. I usually use it as a five in one clipper, which helps me do a sanitary trimming, pads of feet around the face, and it's nice and quiet. But where I like it, and when we're doing our touch-ups in between grooming appointments, this is great, because I can set it to a 30 and do the pads of feet, and I can set it to a 15 or a 10 and do sanitary area, because I would never want to do that area with a 30 blade. It will get too irritated. So I like to use a tin around the privates and the anus on a dog. Let me shave this pads of him. We're gonna set it to a 30. And I like to just come around the outside perimeter of your dog's foot. This is a pet trim, guys. So remember, we're doing what's gonna keep our dogs the most comfortable and mat free and clean. So this clipper just buzzes right through it. So I have trimmed around the outside edge right along the pads. Now we're going to gently just kind of remove the hair between his little toes. And now in this big pad in a V shape, we're going to gently pull back and push forward. 
pull back on this pad and scoop, just cleaning out these pads beautifully. You don't want to apply too much pressure with a 30 blade because it could bring a little blood to the surface. It's a very close clip. If you're worried, you can always back it down to a 15. That's fine, and that's what's nice about this clipper. Here is a beautifully trimmed, clean pad of feet. Now we don't have to worry about our doggy stepping in mud and it getting caked in there or him getting mats from the long hair in his feet between grooming appointments. So if your appointment is set for a six week appointment, do this every three weeks. So we've shaved the pad and you can see how long the hair is here over his, his little paws, his feet. I wanna shape this up a little bit between grooming appointments since we're doing a little bit of tidying up on him. It's fun to do this guys. It keeps your dog looking great in between grooms. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm actually going to use a blending shear. This is one of my favorite shears. This is the Kenchi Lightning Jonathan David series. And with his coat, I really like to use this because it just leaves such a natural look. It's not a straight shear, meaning this is a not a straight edge. This is a blending edge. So we're just going to shape around like this, okay? Try to keep your bottom blade on the table and use your thumb to move the top blade and we're just shaping it up, that's all. Use your comb, pull out the hair so you can see what you need to work on, and just shape it up. You could use a straight shear on his coat. I'm choosing to use this Kenji Lightning. It's one of my favorites. I use it a lot to just perform scissor work, basically, because I'm weird like that. <laughs> you guys already know that. All right, so that's all we're doing. It's simple. All right, now I'm going to come on around to the other side and the back. Same thing. I'm just making him look nice between grooming appointments, that's all. And you guys can do this too. Comb it down. I'm gonna pick this foot up so he doesn't move. And just tidying up. And I'm gonna pick his foot up and tidy up on top of his, the top of his foot and that's gonna be it. So you can see an untrimmed foot and a trimmed foot side by side. Now I'm just gonna pick up his foot and I'm just gonna comb everything up. And I'm just, I'm just shaping and doming over the top of his foot. This is just between grooming appointments, just to tidy up his foot so that he stays cleaner you know, from going inside and outside. And that's just gonna tidy up that foot between grooms. There's one and there's his untrimmed foot. So much tidier. You can do it too, guys. My Kenchi flash set to a 10. I'm gonna tidy up just right around his anus and his penis. And you go away from the anus in all four directions just to keep poop from collecting when he goes to the bathroom. It's nice and tidy. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it just to show you. I am going to take a straight shear and just scissor some of this bulk off of him. So we're just scissoring a shape that we like just to keep him tidy in between grooming appointments. You wouldn't have to do this. You could just call it good with trimming around with your Kenchi or your four or five in one clipper of your choice around the anus and around his penis. If you have a girl dog around their vulva, you would trim to keep it clean because if urine and feces are sticking to your dog's coat, it's definitely gonna cause skin irritation. It could lead to a skin infection. So some breeds grow hair very quickly. So it's actually kind of necessary to tidy them up slightly between grooming appointments. So that's why I'm showing you this today, guys. And it's not perfect, but I'm happy for now. I mean, I could go with in with a blending shear 
and just really fancy this up if I wanted to, but I'm not too concerned about it because I'm actually going to be grooming him at the end of this week. <laughs> he desperately needs it. Always use your comb to pull the hair out. You can see now I have more to scissor because I used my comb to pull the hair out and show me what I need to scissor off. These are uh, eight and a half, yeah, eight and a half inch monk shears that I'm using. It's a nice affordable shear from a shear manufacturer called Monk, and I'm not sure who sells their shears right now. I was a big fan of them years ago, and I've kind of lost touch. I'm not sure if they're still making monk shears. I think they are, so you might have to search that up. But they're nice, affordable, good shears for the beginner or the home groomer especially, I'd say. And the Kenshi Love series is perfect for the beginner groomer or the home groomer. Now I'm just gonna clean up right in front of his pee pee with a 10 blade, that's all. And you basically are just coming towards and away from the penis. It's very safe with a 10 blade, guys. And this is just to keep him him clean when he goes to the potty between grooming appointments. So we're going to use a little quicker slicker. We were using the Tropiclean Tangle Remover. Now we're going to try the quicker slicker because I've been using this forever and it is a super product. Remember we are still finishing his brush out and we're just lightly misting a little bit into the coat. I'm going to first go for this metal pen brush and we're going to brush through his ear. When you brush your dog's ears guys, Brush right straight down off of the ear leather, but don't forget to turn that ear inside out and brush the inside. You will get matting in here as well, and a lot of people tend to overlook that. So don't forget, we're trying to avoid mats. This is our how to keep our doodle in good shape between grooming appointments. So the metal pen brush is nice for fluffing up your dog but I will say that on this dog the Kenshi slicker brush tends to pull more dead hair out of the coat especially if you're using your sprays it really slides that dead hair right out of the coat so depends on what coat type you're working with guys kind of will determine the brush style that you're gonna use to brush out your dog now I can certainly go for this pen brush for Gus quite often. When he comes in from outside and he's a little messy, this is a nice little brush to just kind of whisk off any dirt or mulch, leaves, anything he may have gotten into when he comes in from the outside. So it is definitely nice to have for Gus too. Obviously, a lot of people end up with quite the collection of brushes and tools, even if they're only grooming one dog. So don't be ashamed if that's you, if you have quite the arsenal of tools. I do too. I am a pet groomer, but even if I wasn't, I, um, you should see my tools for my own hair. I've got quite the arsenal, you know, every little thing I need to do, every little thing to my hair. I would say the Quicker Slicker and the new Tropiclean Perfect Fur Detangling Sprays both stand up to each other just fine. They both smell very nice too. That's quite nice as well because this is going to help keep our dogs clean and brushed out longer in between our bathing appointments. So it's nice to have those detangling sprays like your Quicker Slicker, your Crown Royal Magic Touch. I do have a lot of these products linked in the description below if you want to get a jump start and just go and check them out. I'm not affiliated with any of these manufacturers so I'm just telling you guys what will help you produce professional results with your pet at home and keep your dog in good shape between grooming appointments because that's what we're trying to accomplish here today. So here he is, he's all done. Oh God, see I need a nap. Nice and tidy feet, nice and clean pads. Very important. <laughs> in the back here, so we don't have to worry about him or pee pee stuck to his coat in between grooms. And yes, remember I shaved that hideous heart. <laughs> it's hideous now that it's growing out. As soon as I give him his trim this week, it'll disappear. 
But here's our cleanup, golden doodle, touch up, in between grooming appointments, trim.